With example number two, we are still dealing with this uh, situation, and then we already have the absolute value isolated. So we can just go ahead and then put it inside in the middle of negative of that number and positive that number. So it work. This breaks uh, brings down the one minus three x, and then I'll put the inside, and the inside does not change, right? So just one minus three x. I'll put the inside in the middle of the fourteen, and then also put this as negative. 14. So keep in mind that always um, the smaller number on the left hand side, the negative number on the left hand side, left, middle, and then right. Now we just need to solve for x. We just need to um, isolate x. Let's get to work. I need to subtract 1 here, subtract 1 here, subtract 1 there. So the 1 and 1 cancels. Then you see negative 14 minus 1 is minus 15 less than or equal to, and bring down the negative 3x, this is less than or equal to, 14 minus 1 is 13. I have negative, I have negative 3 times x, so I need to divide by negative 3 to cancel this negative 3s. I will also do so on, the, um, on this side and on that side, divide by negative 3. So negative 15 divided by negative 3 is positive 5. And the middle part is just an x. Negative 13 over negative 3. Uh, we cannot do much. So just negative 13 over 3. We can just write it like that. But then right here, we divide by a negative number. So we will take the inequality and switch it to instead of less than or greater instead of less than or equal to, we change that to a greater than or equal to like that. And right here as well. Instead of the less than or equal to, we'll write this as greater than or equal to. Like that. So instead, of, whenever we are dividing by a negative number, just make sure that you switch the inequality symbols. And now, this actually doesn't make, well, it's not like it does not make sense. But then, what we would like to do is, we have an x in the middle, but this is actually a smaller number, right? Negative 13 over 3 is a smaller number. And the 5 is a bigger number. So what we should do is, again, x is in the middle, but I will bring this to the other side and then bring the 5 to the right-hand side. I will write x in between of the smaller number on the left-hand side and then a big number on the right-hand side. The smaller number is negative 13 over 3, and the big number is 5. And then right here, I will actually switch the inequality back. So if you pay attention to this part, x is greater than or equal to negative 13 over 3. The opening is toward the x. So when you put down negative 13 over 3, the opening should still toward the x. And then if we look at just these two parts, 5 greater than or equal to x, right? The opening is toward the 5. So when you want to just switch this back, right, change the order. Um, you will have the opening toward the 5 as well. Okay. So that was stupid. So again, the goal is to have the, the, small, the smaller number on the left hand side and then the big number on the right hand side. Whenever you are dealing with like a compounded inequality, when you have the x in the middle, this is what you want. Because now, when we talk about the graph, when we talk about the graph on the number line, this will be just much more straightforward. Let me locate where the zero is. Negative 13 over 3. Let me just say that's right here. And find that just says right there. In our case, we have less than or equal to. So um, again, we have two ways to graph. I will show you both. But on the exams, on the homework, you just need to do one. We have less than or equal to. La equal to means that we are going to include this number. Okay, so we are going to put a closed circle at negative 13 over 3. Likewise, a closed circle right here on the 5. X is in the middle, so we're just going to color in the middle, like shading in the middle like this. Again, this is just the first way. And then if you decide to do it the second way, which you use the uh, brackets, 
The advantage of doing the second one is if you use the bracket. In this case, we use the square bracket. Again, we use bracket whenever we have less than or equal to, or like a greater than or equal to. Whenever we have the equal to symbol right there. You can also remember that as because you have a straight line right here, and that's also a straight line. Okay. If you decide to use this symbol, this notation here, I'll put brackets here, brackets there, again, calling the middle. If you do this, and if the question also would like you to write this as interval notation, you're actually done already. Because for the interval notation, put down the left number first, write the smaller number on the number line first, which is negative 13 over 3, comma 5. And then you can just use the bracket here as well, maintain that bracket. That's it. If you use the bracket here, then the interval notation is just pretty much the same thing. But then if you use the um, circle, it's more official, but you have to remember when you use the closed circle, um, you have to use the bracket because you want to include the endpoint. And that's it. Example number two, that's it.